Hello. Alan Hayes trained British. The six-year-old was attempting to win the distance event of the day, the Westall Handicap, in a bid to qualify for a trip to Perth. British was well supported in the market, as was Tigertron, but the latter got into difficulties about 800 out and broke down. A fair way back then, oh, and getting flattened, the Tangara nearly came down. Tigertron's broken down, pulled up. Tigertron's broken down at the uh, 800 metre mark. Now they race up towards the home turn. And they've got about 600 metres left to go, and the leader, Salsify, has kicked away to lead a length and a half, Quiet Assassin. British is only a length and a half behind those in there, followed by Randair. Then pulled to the outside, Fumicle be in Jolly, and next is Grand Grey as they straighten up. And are there, followed by Tidemaster. Into the straight now, 400 to go. And Salsify, the leader, out by two lengths to British under the whip. On the outside, Quiet Assassin, then Fumicle finishing pretty well. Bean Jolly right down the outside, but Salsify at the 200 metre mark. He's still about four lengths in front of British Quiet Assassin and Bean Jolly finishing well on the outside. Salsify in front with 100 to go. Bean Jolly starting to rocket home. Salsify walking as he reaches the line, but he'll hang on. Salsify from Bean Jolly. Nothing in it for third between Royal Sea, the outside, and British who only plugged home. Just disappointing and finished out of a place. The consistent country performer Salsify just too good. The Lightwood Handicap was uh, race six, and what a great race with a dozen chances, 200 metres out. Solitaire Love joined and headed by Prince Spy at the 400. Running on strongly Todd Wilkes and then Greek Note pulled to the outside. Next Silver Cavalier. Diagra Fair's very wide out. Many chances. Todd Wilkes has got to the lead now. Royal Campbell out wide. Diagra Fair starting to fly home and then Ollie's Decree. Diagra Fair's got to the lead now with 100 metres to go. Ollie's Decree flashing home and then Woking. Diagra Fair in front. Ollie's Decree wide out coming at him. Diagra Fair hanging on as they hit the line. Flying on his decree in the last stride, I think, from Diagra Fair. Woking's probably run third. And Ollie's decree came from last and didn't even come into calculations until about 100 metres out. A perfectly timed ride by Rodney Dawkins. Now let's take a look at the other dividends. The Quadrilla, 4, 9, 8 and 1, paid $388.10. The Daily Double, 9 and 1, $13.75. And the Extra Double, 8, Romp Along and 15, Solsify, $227.40. Well, boxing broke new ground today when...